Okay, today we're going to talk about a another digital platform called Padlet. And this is the home page and as you can see, it's free to sign up. It it can be installed on a Mac. Um, I would assume that it's though I don't use it on a on an iPad. I'm assuming that it's an Apple friendly um platform but when you hit the login obviously it's it's a, f a friendly platform with Microsoft Google and Apple and I'm just gonna log in with Google because I've already signed in with an account and you can see when you come to the home page that it I have uh, already set up for padlets now I thought that there was only three in the free version and then there was space for a fourth one. So now it's telling me that I've used four of my three Padlets. So I've exceeded my free Padlet limit by one. So I need to consider upgrading. But um, in any event, it's kind of allowed me to add this fourth Padlet, which was this one, the beginning of the school year one, because I started off with the bookmarks one, um, where you make a Padlet and it gives you all different kinds of uh, options to whether you want it to be like a wall or a stream, a grid. I haven't used all of them, shelf, timeline, map, um, and whatnot. So it gives you a couple of different options on what kind of format you're looking at. Padlet to me, I mean, they call it a bulletin board, but it, it's kind of an interactive um, digital display or a bulletin board, if you will. Um, and uh, one of the first ones that I um, started was, how was your summer? corkboard and you add a tagline and then uh, a subtitle and when you go to add to the Padlet by hitting the add um, it'll allow you to choose a color because it's going to look for this purpose it's going to look like sticky notes. So you can write something, anything, it doesn't matter. Um, I traveled the world this summer. There we go. And you can add several different formats to that. Um, you can add a link, a drawing, a recording, a screen recording, um, any kind of link any kind of upload which includes a Flipgrid to your Padlet um, and then you publish it and there's another one that I've published. You can even delete that post. You delete that post and now you've only got four. Um, you can see in this one I was able to add, oh, whoops, hold on a second. This one I was able to add a Giphy of Olaf, that's one of my favorite, Olaf and his summer song. Um, but all these different things can be added by your contributors, your students, yourself. And this one was another one, places that you go. This is a map. This is one of those map um, formats, uh, places that you go. And where did you go this summer? So I. I've been to Pennsylvania. I actually moved to Florida this summer. So, um, and so your students, depending on how old they are, they can choose um, anything they want. Um, you can add a pin, uh, drag and drop a pin anywhere. So, Georgia. Um, and it's kind of intricate. You could just put Georgia. Um, I 
there you go, you publish it. So that's another version. Bookmarks, what do you like to read? That was another one. Um, favorite books, and this is a Flipgrid. So this is one of the Flipgrids that I did for another post. And then this last one is beginning the school year. Um, this was another one that I just be, uh, started. And I have, um, this was the grid option, I believe, when I went back, when you go back to um, make a Padlet, um, maybe it was the shelf one. I can't remember which one it was, um, but this is where you, choose what you want your wallpaper to look like, if you want to add pictures, um, if you want to do a holiday theme, a social studies unit, whatever it is. Um, and then you go back and you, you, t you title it. Um, This is almost like the other one. Um, places we could go. And this will be the copy to the clipboard. This, this would be the Padlet that you would use to invite students or anybody. The fonts, you can't really change the font size. You can change how it looks. You can see up here when I change it, it changes the different types of fonts. And there's different options. You can allow comments, reactions, whatever you wanna do, likes, dislikes, votes, um, stars, things like that. And I guess you might wanna star places that you'd wanna go. Uh, depending on how old your students are, you might want to filter profanity. I always just click it just in case somebody accesses it and, you know, it happens to be not so. Now you're ready to start posting. Name your first section. Um, let's do the continents. North America. Save it. Add another section. South America, save it. Um, Russia, that's a continent, maybe that's Asia, whoops. Um, Africa, I know that's a continent. And I believe, is Australia a continent? Hmm, we'll, we'll put Australia on there. I did not spell it right. <laughs> there we go, we fixed it. So now your students can add Padlets to it. Um, and this is where it gets really interesting. Um, I know you can add a Jiffy, because I did this. There, add a GIF. So that's what I did on the other one, North America. Here we go. Okay. And you, you should be able to write something. This would be Alaska. Ar the Arctic. Antarctica, that's the other one. Let's edit this, Antarctica. I'm going to rename this section because it's Antarctica. There we go, Antarctica. So this is something that you can do. I already went through the other Padlet and I um, uh, 
added a few gifs to what would you like to learn about this year? I added math, uh, social studies, literacy and language, and then art and music. So those are some things that you can do, um, you know, in your Padlets to, uh, you know, get things started. And now, you know, it's going to tell me that I have five of three Padlets. But in any event, um, you know, and you can also upgrade, but as far as free goes, you know, these are not actual Padlets that are going to be going out to any students um, or anything like that. So, you know, they can be deleted. Um, but this is just some of the things that you're able to do. Um, the gallery shows you all different types of Padlets. Um, a compliment board, this is a really nice one because this is something that, you know, would be good to use all year round, not just for Valentine's Day. You know, this would be something that'd be great even in the workplace. So this this is kind of a multi-purposed uh, tool that uh, can be used. I automatically, when I was looking at it, thought this would be a great resource for art teachers that, you know, had to teach remotely, that couldn't feature student work in person, that pencil and paper hands-on stuff. And this would have been a great way to feature student work and photographs and things like that even to share with parents so um, that's padlet in a nutshell and um, again there's all different ways to share your individual padlets because you get a, uh, you can copy them to your clipboards you can get a qr code you can share it through an email facebook twitter um, you can bet, embed it on a blog or a website if that's something that you choose to do. But if you copy it to a clipboard, you probably could share it to a wakelet format or another kind of format. So it seems like a lot of these things work in conjunction with each other and really allow you to um, switch up the different modes of learning, things like that. So that's Padlet.